In this video, I'm going to teach you how to create a GSAP text review on scroll using Elementor. Now, this is what we're going to be creating. As you can tell, whenever I scroll to this dark section here, we're going to have our section pop up and we're going to have that text split effect that you've been probably seeing on many websites. Um, and it's going to work the same way whenever we scroll out of view of the section. And then whenever we scroll back into view, you see that we're going to have that same animation effect. It's not just going to happen once. It's going to happen every time we go ahead and scroll through this section here. And it's a really cool effect. Now, for those of you that haven't seen my most recent video where I went over a similar effect, just like this one here, as you can tell, the text is going to basically leave and then it's going to change to a different text. And it's going to basically keep repeating itself. It's going to leave and change to a different text. Now, this one works infinitely, so we don't really need to have that um, scrolling effect. But if you want to learn how to create this um, effect here, go ahead and watch my last video that I just uploaded and you guys can learn how to create this. And also you guys can get a better idea of GSAP. So hopefully you guys end up enjoying the video. If you do, make sure to like it for the YouTube algorithm. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of my videos. Now I hope you guys enjoy. So let's begin. Now, I'm sure a lot of you guys are coming from my GSAP text split reveal. I ended up going over the font and also the templates I used. And I'm just using Elementor Pro's templates in case you are wondering. And a lot of this is already set up for me anyway. Now, if you guys haven't watched that video, I highly recommend you do in case you do want to lay it out the same way that I have here. Basically, this is just a section with a column and then an intersection with another column. And then I'm just using a text heading here. My style is this font here. And these are the settings. And this is the text that I'm using here. Now, I'm probably going to change out the text anyway, just to show you guys the effect. So just make sure that you have a headline. That's pretty much all you need. So once you drag your headline in, go ahead and add your text. I'm actually going to be using a text generator, or you can just use any text that you have. Now on your heading widget, go into advanced, and then go ahead and add a class called text-reveal. Now if you are using the same class that we did in the last video, you guys can change the name of this class and then just update it. So now go into custom, and then go ahead and type in selector and then add some curly brackets. And in between those curly brackets, type in overflow, hidden. Make sure that you have these colons here. So it's overflow, colon, and then um, colons, and then hidden. Now that's all set, so let's update this. And we're not gonna see an effect just yet, even if we preview this, we need to just add our script and target our class that we just added, our class name which is called text reveal. And then the other thing that we need to do is go into your section. So this part is really important actually. You need to have a section um, that's gonna trigger the script to start the animation, right? Whenever we're dealing with um, scroll triggers, we need to have some sort of section, some sort of um, class that's gonna trigger our scroll animation to begin. And we're gonna be using this section here. So this entire box section. So go to, go to advance and then right now I have already I have the script already on here, but go ahead and type in start dash reveal, sorry, reveal, and then go ahead and click update. Now go into your dashboard, go into Elementor, go into custom code and go ahead and click add new and then go ahead and type GSAP text reveal scroll. And your location should be set to the body end and have it set to always load jQuery. Now we're gonna go ahead and paste our script. So just paste the script that I provided in the description. Just click the link and then paste that script right in here. Now everything's already set for us, but I'm gonna go over the script here a bit. So hit publish and then go ahead and choose your page that you want this to, to load up. So click singular. If you wanna do the front page, you can, but I'm gonna do pages because I, I have a separate page for this. I'm gonna type in text reveal scroll, I believe it's called scroll text reveal. We're gonna hit update. And as you can tell, I'm already targeting my text reveal and the H2. Now, I need to go over this part as well because this is really important. So on your, um, on your heading, make sure that, you're, that you add the CSS class and also make sure that you have the correct HTML tag. We're using H2. You can use H1, H3, um, paragraph, uh, whatever you need to use. But make sure that you add it right after your dot .text reveal in here. So you can do H2, H6. Um, a p tag, but we're just doing h2 because that's what we're targeting. 
Now, now let's actually refresh this. And there we have it. Now we can tell that it's working because we have these markers here. We're gonna remove them anyway because you don't want them, but it's only whenever you're developing it. So as you can tell, whenever I scroll down here, and I need to scroll, my scroll start needs to pass this start here, and that's where it's gonna begin. You can tell whenever I scroll, we have the, um, the animation effect. And if I scroll out and then scroll back in, it's gonna come back. See that? Same thing here. If we leave the section and then we scroll back, it's gonna return. So that's a cool effect that I like to have. Now let me go over the GSAP here. So if I go back to the script here, I don't wanna to take too long on here. So I'm sure most of you guys have probably seen um, the GSAP script that I usually use. This is just my loader here. And then over here is we have, we have our function that's gonna go ahead and um, create our, uh, our text review animation there. So right here we have a variable and we're just targeting our, our class. Um, and then we have our uh, GSAP set. So basically we're automatically setting um, the Y axis to 100%, which is basically gonna bring our text all the way down so you can't see it. So it's already gonna set it like that by default. We could have done it with CSS, but we're doing it with, um, we're doing it with GSAP this way. And then we have our timeline. So I don't have to use a timeline for this, but I'm using a timeline just in case you wanna add on to this, because you can. Um, if you go ahead and watch my other video, you notice I use a timeline and I'm using um, and I'm using some more um, variables to this. You can add on to this if you want to. That's why I created it as a timeline. But, but anyway, let me go over the timeline here. So we have a timeline and then we have a scroll trigger um, and we're targeting our start reveal, which as I mentioned is this section here. This is our start reveal. So whenever, whenever we scroll on this section, we're gonna have it begin. And then this is where we have um, our, our basically our starting points. So we have start and it's set to the top. So our start right here, let me go over this one. Our start is this one here, that's why we have it top. And then we have an end as well. Same thing, our end is at the bottom. As you can see, our end is right there. And then we have our center center. Um, right here we have center and center. So now the, these ones, the second ones that you see here, these are actually targeting the entire, um, the entire scroll, I guess, scroll bar, scroll view, if you want to call it. Um, so that is how that's working. But if let's say we want to remove our scroller start, um, scroll bar trigger there, if we want to remove that to the top, we can, we can just adjust this here. I've actually gone over this in different videos. So um, if you do want to learn more about this, I highly suggest that you watch my other GSAP videos. Um, and then we have markers. So that's just allowing us to have markers so we can see when things are going to start and where our um, trigger markers are at. So you can remove that. Just go ahead and actually remove this just like this. Um, so then you don't have those markers anymore because you're not going to need them. But I just wanted to have it there just so then um, you know where those are starting. And then we have um, our toggle actions, and this is just gonna make sure that we have um, our effect restart whenever we leave our trigger section and we go back up. That's what that is allowing us to do. And then we just have our timeline here um, and we're setting it to, so basically from 100% from, uh, back to uh, zero, and that's pretty much giving it this, the, the effect where it pops up. Um, and that's basically what that's doing. And then we have an ease power out and then clear props um, set to true. So that is basically it. If you guys do have any questions on this, just make sure to comment down below and I'll definitely try to help you guys out. Now, as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.